Well, I bet you didn't expect that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. So if you've watched any of my previous vlogs that I filmed in London, you may now realize that I'm not in my room in which I filmed every one of my videos. Because in fact, I moved. I changed accommodations. I don't think saying I'm gonna miss this is true because I don't think I will. There's a reason I'm moving, but it was a period of my life. It was a phase. Even if I just left her for like three months, it still was a big part of my life, I'd say so. I don't really feel like elaborating on the reasons for which I did that, but I am really happy that I did move and my room here is um, so much nicer than the previous one I stayed at. The building I lived in was kind of old and rusty which was fine because i'm a student i wasn't expecting some high standards but i must say this one is really really nice i don't think it makes a big difference for you but um the lighting will be better in my videos look they have like those overhead lamps that you <laughs> but besides that i hope you enjoyed the video Yeah, so this is the new mirror area and right now I'm gonna go get coffee with Bay, and we're gonna see the study rooms that they have in our accommodation. I promise you I have other friends than Bay, For real. It's just she's always there. <laughs> Where are we going now, Veronica? <laughs> Ooh, press. Sainsbury's now to do some grocery shopping because I always do that on Fridays. energy i have like a world econ quiz right now we gotta do it and we gotta try hard because i kind of failed on the last one i was not satisfied with my results but but i actually studied quite properly for this one because at this point like with my uni grades i'm just like trying but failing all the time okay let's do it I honestly have no idea how I did. I think it was better than the previous one. But if we answer any of the questions incorrectly, we still get negative marking. And I answered all the questions. So technically I can get full marks, but it doesn't really matter. Who cares about grades? Is in uni all about like self-exploration and acquiring new knowledge? Not about marks, right? No, honestly, the view from my window is insane. This is so pretty. I genuinely think I'm much more happier since I moved because the last week has been an emotional ro roller coaster. What is wrong with my English today? An emotional roller coaster. And I've cried so many times in the last week, I cannot even count. But sometimes it got really bad. And when I decided to move, because it was my own decision, no one like asked me to do it. When I decided that I'm gonna move and like I put my notice to quit, I was like, why am I like making these big life decisions so rapidly and like everything is changing and nothing is stable in my life. But moving is not the best idea at this time. But I honestly feel like more motivated, more social, like I regain my excitement about life. And it's just interesting to me because I never thought that the room you stay at or like the accommodation you live in has that big of an impact on your mental health. In all honesty, this fit is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know what is it. I think I'm gonna drop the hat because it just doesn't really work.
Yes, I bought them from Lidl, okay. But guys, I have a problem because I moved, although it wasn't that far away. Lidl is not that close to my accommodation, so it would take a while to walk there and do my shopping. So I might switch to Tesco or Sainsbury's, but it's so expensive. I also bought this vegan chocolate. I clearly have a thing for chocolate. I think I'm gonna do some work. It's Friday evening, I know. But the, the whole last of last week was my reading week, which means I had no classes and I basically did nothing. <laughs> This is the finished effect. I think I have had my nails painted in like over a month. It just feels so good. It makes your hands look nice. Anyways, it's getting pretty late and I think I'll go to the kitchen chill with my new flatmates. And I bought the cider in Sainsbury's. It's literally 12 degrees Celsius and I am going on a run. Let's just not overthink it. I'm going running now. I'm so sleepy. I came back from my run, took a shower, it's 12 freaking a.m. I feel like in an ideal world, I would have like three hours every day just to do stuff I want in the morning. Like work out, do yoga, cook my breakfast, in quiet, listen to podcasts, read a book, journal. I, I love these activities. I love doing them in the morning because that's when I feel most calm. Sometimes with lo-fi music becomes too intense. I just type in library uh, ASMR. I feel like... I'm, I'm so sleepy and tired and I don't even know why. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm showing this to you because this looks... I don't know, it doesn't look very Instagrammable. But I'm trying out this new Alpro yogurt and obviously rice cakes with various stuff I had in my fridge. Sitting dumpling straight up of my mug, yeah. This is an ad for Nike. <laughs> I'm picking up my food delivery. I'm so excited. We got burgers for Demetria. We've got oatmeal with rice milk, banana and biscuit. So tomorrow's Monday and my reading week has come to an end, unfortunately. Recently I've just been really struggling with like overthinking and stuff and I've always been an overthinker, but just the past couple of weeks have been crazy in terms of that, um, in a negative way. I can't even explain how tiring it is to know that 90% of thoughts in my head don't really have any purpose and they only stress me out or bring me anxiety. And I know that I stress about things that don't really <laughs> require that. Not even like schoolwork, just like very miscellaneous daily um, activities or like interactions with people. I kind of hate that about my brain. I hate that it has to work that way because it's just something that's like out of my control and I try to do all my meditations and my yoga and my affirmations but my brain just likes to create problems out of nothing. <laughs> oh, 
haven't been here for a week feels like. Hi, Hi, specific but the study rooms on fourth floor get so cold and I have a tutorial in like 20 minutes and I don't think I can spend an hour longer there because I'm just freezing I have an hour now before my next lecture so I'm gonna head to little and do some quick grocery shopping Is basically my lunch um, just three vegan sausages with vegan mayo salad and Caesar dressing I have a tutorial in seven minutes so we shall eat now in terms of dealing with the um, online uni thing I find it really helpful to find a place to go to like every day whether that's a library whether that's study rooms at my accommodation because I always get like ready in the morning that I'm outside for a couple hours get my coffee and then when I come back here I kind of feel like I'm coming back home and like I want to be back because I'm like tired and hungry if I were to stay at my room for the entire day but then you would be like just so sick of the space you're in I don't really want that Yesterday I went to sleep at like three in the morning and I <laughs> set my alarm to like Eight or something because I thought I'm gonna be productive. I think I pressed snooze maybe like 10 times I did a little workout even though when I just like sat on the mat and started doing like jumping planks right away with glowy thing And I was like no, and I just like laid on the mat for like five minutes and I was like can I go back to sleep? I find it kind of hard to balance like a healthy lifestyle studying and social life But I guess you just have to prioritize things that you feel are more important and at this point in my life it's Social life, baby, so... Okay, I genuinely like my outfit today because I put some effort in, but I also feel like I'm keep, I am keep re-wearing the same set of clothes, like this top and this jacket as well. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so fancy. <laughs> I love her outfit today. Are we loving it? Are we loving Veronica's outfit today? Oh, we are. Ooh, out of 10. Rate them in the comments. <laughs> so many of them today is also just like a really sunny day i love this shit i am serving looks today i you can't really see the pants i feel so good today it's just because of the sun literally i'm such a basic all i need is like the sun and some flowers and i'm like yeah just loving life me on my summer holiday in london who cares about uni work and stress and acne and bloating when their sun fixes everything I don't even know why I'm taking glasses. There is no direct sign anymore, but yeah. Also, I'm bringing my film camera because we may take some pics. Hi guys, this is... <laughs> Emma! Hello. And we're making scallion pancakes. the vlog here i love you all thank you for all the lovely comments and i guess i'll see you in another video bye